I was maybe on the farm, probably 13. I don't know. Time escapes me now a little bit, but 13, 14. My father said to me sitting at the table. He never sat at the table with his feet, with his legs under the table. He always sat sideways, cross-legged. And he always had to have his spaghetti on Wednesday and Sunday with his bread. Never used a knife, cut it. And that's how I do it, still to this day. I dunk my bread in the sauce. And I, unlike my father, have been to probably some of the greatest and finest restaurants in the world. All of that I attribute to what he taught me. This was a lesson. Again, I started to say I was 13, 14. He said, Gabriel, come here. And I walked to the table. He said, give me your hand. I gave him my hand. He said, open your hand. Let me see your four fingers and your thumb. And I did. He said, hold them high. And I did. And he said, take your pinky and drop it. I did. He said, take your index finger and drop it. And I did. He said, take that middle finger and drop it. And I did. How many fingers you got left, he said, son? I said, two. He said, you got two, huh? I said, yes, dad, I got two. He said, in life, you are going to be a king if you have two friends that you can truly call your friends that will come to you when you need in the middle of the night if you need money, if you're in an accident. Son, I really believe you should take that other finger and drop it. Because if you have one I had my thumb up. One true friend, you are the king of kings. There is no man richer, more superior than you, if he is or she a true, true friend. And you, son, the same to them.